Hi, for this video we're going to solve a system of equations graphically, but this time we're going to put it into the TI-84 and use the TI-84 to find the intersection point. In order to, f in order to use the TI-84, you do have to first get it into y equals mx plus b form. So um, we do have to get it in slope-intercept form, so that's what we're going to start with. This part you have to do um, no matter whether you're doing it on paper or if you're putting it into the calculator. So to do this, what we need to do is we want to um, first move the 5x to the opposite side. So when we do that, we would have a negative 5x plus 6. And then remember that in order to be in y equals mx plus b form, y has to be completely by itself. So we would divide everything by 3. And so we would write this as y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 2. So that's our first equation that we're going to plug into our calculator. The second equation, we're going to solve the second one for y. So the first thing we would do is move the y to the other side. So we would have negative 3y. Make sure that you don't forget this sign. This negative does go with the 3. And you would have negative x plus 12. Um, be very careful with signs because that's something that will cause a lot of uh, problems if you don't pay attention to the signs. So our second equation is y equals one third and it's positive one third since I have a negative divided by a negative. And then because I have a positive 12 divided by a negative 3, um, we would end up with one third x minus 4. So these are our two equations that we're going to plug into our calculator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my calculator. With this one, I do have it split screen. Um, yours would be stacked, uh, but just to make it easier for you to see. So to graph this, what we're going to do is go to the y equals screen. I am using the color edition. Um, if you have the 83 or if you have the 84 or the 84 plus um, that's not color edition, it would be the same thing. You just want to get the different colored lines. So for our first line, we would put in the y1. And our first line was negative 5 divided by 3. And remember for our x, we use the x comma t comma theta comma n button. Don't use alpha x. That will um, give you the wrong thing. So we would do negative 5 thirds x plus 2. And then we're going to put in our second equation at the same time. So we're going to do 1 divided by 3. Again, use the x comma t comma theta comma n button minus 4. And let's go ahead and graph this. So when I graph this, it's going to put the graphs of both equations on there. And we can see that they intersect here. Um, the graphing calculator is very helpful, especially if they don't intersect at a whole number. So what we can do is hit the second button. And above the trace, it says calculate. There's calculations that you can do. So I'm going to hit second and trace. And remember, we're looking for the intersection point. So we're going to choose option 5. And when you do this, it's going to say first curve. You can kind of move closer to it. The first curve is just talking about this is the first line that I'm going to use. So somewhere on that line, we're going to hit enter. And then the second curve is just your second line. And it will always give you a guess. So you're just going to hit guess again. And it tells us our intersection is x equals 3, negative 3. So that would be our answer. Um, x equals 3 and y equals negative 3 would be our answer from our graph. So we, if we had to write it as an ordered pair, we would say 3 and negative 3 would be our solution. And with this, it's always best to check, especially because of the fact that we had to get it into y equals mx plus b, just to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. Let's go ahead and check to make sure that this works. And so we would do 5 times 3 plus 3 times negative 3. And all I did was I simply put the 3 in for the x and the negative 3 in for the y. And we want to know, does this equal 6? So this is 15 minus 9, which does equal 6. Yes, that is true. If we check the second one, we would simply replace this x with 3 and this y with negative 3. 
And we would see if this also gives us a true statement. Remember, you always multiply before subtracting, so negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, and 3 plus 9 does give us 12. So we can see that this works. Again, to find this in the graphing calculator, after you graph your lines, you do second calculate and choose option five. Um, just make sure that it's somewhere on both of the lines and then just hit enter three times. As always, thanks for watching.